cigars. And they're, they're all set up here. And let's walk in and say howdy. Oh, you see that skin on the floor? How about that? And there we are. Remember the cattle baron. There's Scott. There's Brian. Brian's watching TV. He's watching his own thing, man. <laughs> That's a rerun, isn't it? It's a rerun, yeah, but I haven't seen it in two years. Yeah. <laughs> in three years? Or two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. No TV for me. No TV. Yeah, too much work, huh? We don't have TV, so this is... How are you at? Right. Yeah, are you guys TV. into the new house and everything? Yeah. Good deal, yeah. Well, was, we got to see that last year, and that was really cool. But you weren't into it yet. They were still doing construction, so... Oh, that's right. You were still doing it. You guys were Yeah. All right, glad to see you, Brian, and hope you have a great, successful time here at the um, PCA. Thank you, Scott. Good seeing you. Nice seeing you, Chuck. Good seeing me. Bye. Hey, cigar pals, we're out here at the PCA, and I'm with Johnny Soyak, cigar in a bottle. Hold that thing up there, Johnny. There you go, baby. Yeah. There you go. The I've, been, winning card game. I've been watching this guy <laughs> on uh, Instagram for months now probably maybe over a year now at least yeah we're good yeah. friends absolutely and uh i i always i'm like what the heck's with the cigar in a bottle how do you drink that you know or how do you smoke that so so how do, what's the deal johnny tell well, us tell us this, about it. this is an award-winning cognac and most cognacs to say you have, you have a cognac guarantee had for four years at least uh, this cognac is a, an excess cognac which is grand Pommier xs bsop so it's a little extra special. It's a blend from four to 10 years old. And the product has been especially made for this product here. And along with the bottle, as you can see, there's a cigar inside, which is called a Vartan cigar. And the Vartan cigar is also rolled by Hendrik Kalman. They call him Hanky. He rolls with Davidoff right, cigars. Right, right, so we team, great, exactly, very famous one. It's like the Picasso. You know? So we teamed up with uh, Vartan putting the cigar inside the bottle, as long, and along with the award-winning cognac, uh, four to six years, they said the regular cognacs is four to ten. And inside the bottle, you have a humididor, humididor inside uh, that keeps the cigar fresh for at least ten years, as well as you can see. And uh, if you notice the little watermark, that's a Bovita gel. Good friends of mine, Tim and Sean, that actually created Bovita gel. And it keeps the cigar fresh. And on top of that, the bottles are all numbered. So you have a numbered oh, okay. bottle as well. So this way, if okay, someone so doesn't drink, exactly, like, uh, if they don't drink, they want to just keep the bottle on a nice shelf. Okay. Uh, it's a great gift item. You can go to cigarinabottle.com and learn more about the product. You can also okay. actually buy online. Oh, great. Uh, great. So your, your listeners can purchase the product, or they can send me an email, or they can actually go into the Facebook, or Twitter, or whatever the case may be. Yeah. I really right. appreciate this, Chuck Red. Well, thank really you. Great. I appreciate Johnny uh, taking time with me and let me do an interview. Absolutely, and, Chuck. And straighten me out on what the <laughs> hell is a cigar in a bottle thing. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All I really right. appreciate thank what you, you did. Uh, one of the most amazing guys on the bike. He drives all over the country and doing this. I've never heard anybody else that does that. that. So yeah, we appreciate that. That's my that. niche. That's beautiful. And we're in, beautiful. we're in Las Vegas, and it is way too hot to be on a motorcycle <laughs> like down here right now. But we're here. We had to come to PCA on the, on the scooter. And got to see Johnny, yeah. man. That's a great. Only 114 event. degrees out today. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's cooled off. It cooled, it cooled off. <laughs> All right. Take care. Well, thank thank you so much. Good thank you so much. As you see, and I'm seeing this, I see this at all the, especially the big vendors. Uh, this is where the sales or the uh, manufacturers come to meet the brick and mortar salespeople, and so you can see their writing contracts and, and orders for cigars and that's for the biggest part that's what goes on here at the trade show where uh, everybody's buying their bulk of their stock for this year's uh, bulk, you know the year ahead so they can uh, you know they make good deals up here at the trade show where they wouldn't get them as they're ordering from the manufacturer um, during the course of the year from the reps. So that's what this is about. There's the Bogota people. The Bogota people helped me out a little while ago. The uh, cigar or uh, cattle baron 
had been um, missing a, a, a HDMI cable, and I was able to borrow one from these guys. So great guys. There's the crux, people. We'll be back. Hey, cigar pals! Here I am on the side of the road, going into town, and I just wanted to <laughs> tell you something. Did you ever wonder what the filler tastes like? But the uh, you really don't want to taste the uh, wrapper in the binder. Well, I found a way to do it. Find that out. Right there. All it takes down the road, 80 miles an hour with a lit cigar. Wind blows the <laughs> fire down the middle, and there you have it. All you taste is filler. Hey, Scar Pals, I'm back here at the PCA, and I'm sitting here with Mike Wydra, and he is the rep from uh, Pretoria Cigars, one of my favorite cigar companies, man. I, I discovered these guys, they were having an event down in um, Finks at, in San Antonio, and uh, Mike was the rep down there, and uh, had a great time, and got turned on to the, the Pretoria Cigars, and just really love them, you know. And hopefully you'll check them out and try them too. So Mike, how long have you been with Patoro? Well, I started I started with them when it was in uh, working with CLE, and there was kind of a situation where they had they had the line picked up um, when uh, Christian sold to Camacho, um, they turned the hand and brought in that line, and I did that for about three years, and then um, Pablo, the co-owner of Patoro, called me about three years ago and said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm, right now I'm not doing anything in cigars, but I sure do miss it. And to make a long story short, and we came together and worked out a deal, and I've been selling it directly for Patoro um, for a little over three years. Okay. And, and Patoro kind of really came on the same big about three years ago, didn't they? Exactly. Yeah, and I, I think that was the first time I had one. Before we did the event down there in San Antonio, um, I had smoked one about a year earlier, and they were just raving at Finks there about it. And uh, I picked one up. I loved it right off the bat. By the way, I am smoking a Patoro. That's, <laughs> that's the Series P, which Series is P. The, uh, that's the most popular uh, blend in the line. That one that you're smoking there is actually the one I like the best. That's a red, red, red line, what do they call that? It's called Grand Anejo Reserve. Okay. And it's um, it's got an Ecuadorian Habano uh, wrapper, which is uh, real creamy and uh, more more to the mild side, but a ton of flavor. It's got a lot of flavor, too. Yeah, and then real Dominican com Pretty and complex. That's it. Okay, well that sounds good. And um, how's things going out here at the event? Are you, you guys uh, making a splash? It has been, it has been uh, very, I've been very positive uh, with the uh, turnout so far. And to kind of give a little background, um, uh, the uh, TPE, which is another cigar uh, convention, uh, that just happened uh, uh, in May of, of this of this year. And uh, I went into that not knowing what was going to happen. And uh, the turnout was was exceptional. It, it was also in Las Vegas, and um, uh, it's it's more of a combination between hookah and, and vape and all that stuff. And uh, a little and every year the premium side gets a little busier and a little busier. And uh, this year it gave me a, a real good feeling when I left there and the, the attendance that they had there. And it sure, it sure turned up uh, that way uh, as we sit here now. It did. It did. Well, I appreciate you taking time with us. And uh, once again, I'm a big Patoro fan. And uh, I look forward to smoking many more Patoros. And I uh, look forward to seeing you at these events and stuff and around Texas. And, you know, Absolutely. Just, right. uh, I, thank you for your support. Every little bit of it helps. Uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of competition out there, but uh, we feel yeah. real good and comfortable with our our place in the market here. And, uh, right. uh, thanks for your support. Yes, sir. Thanks for thanks for the interview. You bet. How about that? We got a mariachi band here. here with 
Yom from ETG Exact Targeting Group and serving the cigar industry. Let me show you something here, folks. Check this out. I've seen this in uh, Dothan, Alabama, and basically what they do is they put a screen in a cigar shop that shows these type of videos um, where there's no sound. All they do is just, you can watch them rolling the cigars and stuff. And, and, uh, and, and that's how they make their money right there is uh, Placentia is one of their uh, advertisers. And every so often they put an advertisement in there and that's how uh, ETG makes their money. But um, other than that, it's all free. They will, they will bring this in to a shop set it up and there's a thing on there where they um the the shop owner can advertise events every 15 minutes or so they can put their own events up for a minute and a half and the rest of the time you're just seeing these cigar rolling and uh, the fields and things like that i think it's fascinating and it's a great idea and uh and i got to be with yom here to uh check this out at the pca and Hopefully. I think you said everything. <laughs> you did my job. I said it all. <laughs> everything is free. Just yeah. contact us. That's cool, man. That yeah. is fascinating. I'm gonna let people know about that. All right, we're out. all right. Here we are at the Warfighter uh, cigar display here. There's Scott. John's over there talking to the guy. And looks like they're doing some business here and looking good for Warfighter. All right. Hey, Star Pals, Chuck here with Manuel Diaz, Hello, sir. who is the, you're still the marketing director of yes, Eladio Diaz, right? Or yes. at uh, EP Carrillo, I'm yes. sorry. And uh, we're here at the DCA, of course. And I met Manuel down at EP Carrillo two, two years ago, I think. Two years ago, yeah. And uh, we got to uh, tour EP Carrillo, great adventure. You guys can read all about it on Cigar Pals. But Eladio, tell us a little bit about your, or, why do I keep your it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're well. not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, well, yeah. tell us a little bit about this new line if you don't want. Yeah, we, don't as you know, we have the flesh in two sizes, the robusto size and we got the toro size. Right. So we decided to make a big one, same blend, and we call it flex apoji. Apoji means in English support. Support, support from the people that help us to build up the brand back in Dominican Republic. Nice. So it's, it's an honor to them. That's right. why we choose that name for this cigar. I've so, noticed that about E.P. Carrillo. It's a, it's a family or a traditional type. Exactly, yeah. Thing, we know? like to keep always around the family because they, thanks to them, they have to say that's why he's here right now. Uh, so this size will be a 58 uh, by 614 in this case, guys. Right? Nice cigar. Yeah. I've smoked some of the pledge and I'm looking forward to this. That's a nice. Yeah, we will be released in October uh, this year for sure. So for the United States, and um, let's see how it goes then later for the international. I'm market. sure it'll take off like crazy. Everything yeah. you guys have. Is... <laughs> EP Carrillo, yeah. Exactly, it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, good deal. Manuel, I appreciate it. No problem. Good, good seeing you again. Good to see you too. Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>